Hi. Okay, today I want to talk a little about AVR Studio and uh, explain about the software and the advantage of working directly with Arduino through SPI connection instead of the USB that is almost on each of Arduino boards. Okay, so it goes like this. If you will look at the Arduino Pro Mini board, so we will notice that there is no USB chip on this board. This means that we cannot uh, burn a program to this board with a USB directly on board. So uh, if you will go, we will see that the communication uh, go with URTTL serial communication. Okay, for this purpose, I want to explain another thing. When we are working with Arduino, not in this board or all other board, we have a bootloader. A bootloader basically is a small program that enables the interface of USB and enables the first connection for burning when we are connecting the computer through Arduino software and programmer. This means that there is a big advantage that we can directly connect the USB and burn the software without uh, knowing how it works and without uh, wasting time for uh, uh, thinking about drivers and things like this. But it also say that when we are burning a software it will not immediately run on the Arduino because the Arduino is waiting about one second or so for the interface with the computer and if there is no interface then the program will start to run okay so basically all the Arduino boards we can uh, burn directly without the USB interface at all without the onboard USB interface and we can use uh, other ways uh, to program it. Also, if we are working uh, with Arduino, we have a closed libraries uh, that are limiting our work. And if we're going to a big project and we want to uh, know exactly about the timing and things that we are doing, so the best way to do it is with the AVR Studio or other compilers that support, uh, uh, that support the Arduino. Okay, so uh, uh, basically the uh, Atmel Studio is a free software that you can download directly from atmel.com. The version currently is, uh, I think, uh, 6.2 uh, and uh, and if we will open uh, this software, we will notice that uh, the commands are different than the commands if we are using this Arduino software. Because the libraries are different, okay? And uh, we can control other things, but basically we need to know that we can take libraries from this environment and compile it in this environment so we will have the same message of programming with the same commands and we can work with different commands directly to the uh, atmel chip in this example that i will show uh, i am writing a program different than using the arduino basic software this enabled me better debugging. Also, the Atmel Studio have in it uh, some very uh, good debugging tools. For example, we have this uh, AVR programmer that uh, has a direct interface with the software. So we can, for example, debug our program by doing a running step by step and reading each register for a more advanced uh, writing let's say 
also uh, this environment is uh, much have much more power than the basic Arduino software that we are using so uh, we can after we are writing the program here we can uh, burn it directly uh, through this environment if we are interacting uh, the correct uh, the correct programmer as I showed and uh, I will put uh, more links uh, later for this where to buy uh, the programmer for uh, working directly with this software okay so what I did here I did the blinking uh, LED uh, program as you can see the program is different than writing this program here and I'm using different libraries okay and I'm interfacing directly with the ports for example this command write to all port B1 and this command is writing to all port B0 also the delay function are a little different okay so also I have to define uh, the crystal frequency that in the board that I'm using by the way uh, it is a good thing to know now that if we are buying this board it can run with several frequencies okay so basically there is a 8 megahertz there is a 16 megahertz and there is also 20 megahertz crystal and for this purpose we need to know what is the crystal on board another thing that we must know is that if we don't know exactly how to work with it we can ruin our board why we can do that because the board has inside fuses for example there is a fuse if we are working with internal crystal or external crystal and uh, we can ruin a uh, we can ruin the frequency to uh, to the chip and uh, this will uh, 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 stop the board from working and we will have to supply external clock in order to fix these things okay so uh, in this program here what I have uh, did I bought this uh, I will put uh, links later and I will give the code okay so I have this program as uh, I bought this interface is SPI exactly for the AVR by the way AVR is something Atmel a programmer okay so um, I have took this from the internet this is exactly the board that I bought so I can know how the SPI is connected because these are the pins that I will have to connect in order uh, to program this board and I have the connector of the AVR programmer that I bought so I need to connect the wire in the correct way and I have a marking on pin number one okay so pin number one is MOSI and MOSI is connected to pin number 11 in a the Pro Mini board so I have to connect all these signals which are GND VCC of course reset clock MISO and MOSI I have the same here so I have connected I will show it shortly and then uh, I will burn the program and show that I'm not using any bootloader this means that uh, the board is running immediately after the program is uh, was burnt into it okay so let's connect now the programmer I have already did this okay and I will show you the program okay so let's change the program what I'm doing here it's a very basic one I will count till 5 and uh, when I'm counting to 5 I will have a delay of 1 second for the LED on board okay and after the 5 counts 
I will have five counts with a delay of 100 millisecond. How I'm doing this? I'm using just a, a loop. In the loop, I'm checking uh, my my x value. By default, uh, the program starts with a zero, and if it is zero, the delay will be uh, one second between turn on and turn off and then after it is finishing this loop I am changing the value of x to not x this means that the value will change from 0 to 255 and the next time it will go to the loop it is not 0 anymore so the delay will be 100 millisecond and when this loop will end it is exactly do the same and the value will be changed again from 255 back to zero so the loop is changing uh, the red light so uh, let's uh, rebuild the solution which will compile it and create the hex file and yes I want to reload it yes why not and then I'm using another uh, software because I don't have the AVR programmer which I uh, showed so I found a good program which is called Extreme Burner I'm using the Extreme Burner and uh, I'm loading the hex file that I've just made to this uh, board and then I'm doing right to the flash flash is the where the program is okay it gives me a message that the chip is in chip uh, incorrect chip was found and I give it to continue I explain why but first let's look uh, that it is working so we need to see now five five uh, linking in one second and then five in 100 millisecond and this is working as you can see hope you can see it right okay and now I will explain about about the message if I'm going by the way you can download this program from the site search for extreme burner it is working quite nice and what I can see here is that it is going like this we have a chip inside the chip of the of the board I'm using is at mega uh, 3 to 8 and I don't have this option here so I took 3 to and uh, if I'm choosing uh, any kind of a chip so this software is is reading the acknowledge and the device ID number of the chip and the device ID in this way is wrong so uh, it is not recognizing the device ID but it is burning okay since the burning depends on the size of the memory etc and basically I see that it is working on this board so this is the way uh, to work directly uh, without using this uh, Arduino very basic environment and using extended let's say environment with a lot of nice feature and debugging okay so thank you and bye bye